Hello, David Herman with Daily Sketch, alias Daz the Artist, May 10th, 2017 at 11.23. I always have to say the time now so that I know I only have 10 minutes and I better have something done by 11.33. So here we go. Let's try a burrito today. That's right, a burrito. All right. So first I'm going to make a slightly off-white burrito shape and uh, let's see what I'm talking about myself so let's cut one in half let's have a burrito you can probably hear the planes in the background we're under attack by uh, the military here we're near uh, the joint base out in the Tacoma area there so let's see here yeah, we're near JBLM, so a lot of times you hear weird planes. Now, uh, that's half a burrito, and we're going to put it in some aluminum foil. That's what the aluminum foil start looks like right there. Do you love how I start these things? And then the other half of the burrito, maybe, uh, let's see, like so, kind of squashed in here. Maybe have a, it's rolled up like that we're looking at the end like so and a little piece of aluminum foil on it there just to be aluminum foil okay now let's make a burrito so first uh let's see where we're we gonna start it's a good question let's go to brush eight now let's go let's let's <coughs> excuse me airbrush in a white burrito shell first let's do some of that <coughs> Pardon me. A little bit of pollen just snuck in the door. And I can fine-tune all this in a little bit. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. Spring has sprung and there goes my self into the spring. All right. Shape this a little better. You know, in my mind, this is a burrito. I know it's not looking like that on the screen yet. Okay, so let's texture that up in eight. Let's say we go to eight. It's a ten-minute burrito lesson. <laughs> what am I? I gotta be nuts doing this stuff. Okay, let's see. We want less bristles, and we don't want them real big. We want them like so-ish. And let's see what happens. See, can we can make a textured shell like so? Okay, that's a good start. Then we can, uh, mm, let's do some more texture there. Okay, and then add maybe another tone, say uh, gray maybe. Let's do a gray, very subtle. Some gray in here. Don't know what that, yeah, that's, that's it, all right. Okay. Then I'm going to shape that. What am I doing? Let's go to one. Let's go to nine. And let's kind of let's go with a darker brown. Got that. And let's not so opaque. And try and create a little bit of shell shape and then we're going to fill this with food don't forget I'm just trying to make one up in 10 minutes a fancy little burrito in aluminum foil don't know how far I'll get okay so something like that bend this puppy around like that You know, this would be a great commercial for someone that makes burritos is to have me on the screen whipping up something really quick. Maybe a 20-minute one time lapsed a little bit. Okay, now let's fill this up with some vegetables and stuff. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to try and do some tomatoes and things like that in here, chopped up things. So let's, let's just do some of that first. And... And we're going to go to chicken. 
which will do some chicken. <laughs> That's chicken. I'll show you. And lettuce. I want some lettuce in there. So we're going to do some pieces of lettuce. I'm telling you, this guy can do anything if he has the amount of time. All right, and then we're going to do um, some light tones in there, like crushed up other shades of lettuce. Let's narrow this brush down a little, put some of that in there. Then we need to like really get down and, and work on the roll a little bit. So let's uh, let's make an edge. And let's have that roll up in between like it might be. Kind of around here. Get that much going. And then we're going to do a little bit with this one. And we might shade some of that. So let's, let's go into here. Let's do a little shading, you know, like some real shading. Maybe even less. Make this a little narrower. Okay, let's put some shadow under it on the plate. That's for now. Let's get some aluminum foil in here real quick. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but we're going to do it. So let's put some aluminum foil on here. We're going to go into uh, this gray. And that's heavy metal, and I will do something with that shortly. Let's get that dense feeling first. And then let's lighten it up with one brush, brush one. Okay, I'm going to do some aluminum foil stuff here, a lot less dense. Okay, and then I might have some uh, even brighter sections of the white. So let's do like that. Let's do some of that. Let's do some of that. And then let's crack it up a little bit. Let's put some bends in there, some crinkles. And then we'll go to eight. Remember, this is on the fly. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're trying it. And we're going to crack the aluminum up a little bit. Cracky crack. And let's do some more cracks in the aluminum. Of course, you would refine all this with super fine line work when you're ready to do that, you know. I'm just getting the basics on here. Okay. Then I might come in and uh, let's, let's, uh, let's do some ends to these meats and things. So if I had a piece of meat in here, some of that I can put some of these crispy parts in. Then I might uh, hang in there. Let's uh, let's do a gray shadow. 
let's see, maybe so big, not too dense to get started. Oh, come on. <laughs> 